Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have an amazing video for you guys today. You are not going to believe this Pyrex auction that is going on right now. And one weird thing happened when I tried to search this, and I'm going to show you guys this. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this, if this is a glitch, no clue what's going on. So please help me understand. And if you guys can do a quick search and see what pops up for you, I would greatly appreciate it to see if it's just something on my end. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. But I'm going to show you that here shortly. Pyrex can be a big money bolo. I am going to consider this a bolo category video. I do lots of these on my channel where I teach you guys about BOLO items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Now, this is probably not an item that you're going to find, this particular one that is going wild, but you just never know. So let's talk about vintage Pyrex that is selling for thousands of dollars. And particularly, I want to focus on this one eBay auction currently going on now. All right. First off, how I found out about this is I have a, let me share my screen. I have a Facebook group. It is uh, Bolo Buddies Resellers and Thrifters Unite. It has 67,000 members currently, and somebody in the group posted a screenshot of this auction, and I decided to do a little digging. Here is what happened when I did that. I went to eBay, and I went to my search bar, and I typed in Pyrex. And I knew that it was an auction, so I filtered by auction, and I filtered by highest first. And it's not here, guys. I have no idea why it's not here. So I decided to add the word love, because that is the pattern. And again, it is not here. So I decided to put lucky in love which is the pattern. And here it is. So I had to actually specifically put lucky in love in the title for this item to pop up. So I don't know how many people are actually seeing this. I don't know if it has to do with uh, these little stars and the just the different uh, punctuation that they have in the title. I never put punctuation. But, I mean, I capitalized the first letter of each word and no punctuation, none whatsoever. I don't know if that's the problem here or what, but is anybody else having this problem when they search it? So I am gonna link this down in the description of the video so it will take you directly to this item if you're interested. And please share this video out because some people that collect Pyrex may not even know that this is up for auction right now because a Pyrex search is not pulling it up. Okay. We are gonna get into more Pyrex that sells for thousands of dollars, but I wanna talk a little bit more about this. So I am over in my Facebook group and this is what somebody wrote. They said, this is the holy grail of Pyrex. There were only 10 to 12 pieces ever produced. Those were just a test batch and Pyrex was not happy with the design, so it was never made. The seller is an estate company that doesn't usually do eBay. That is why they don't have any items for sale or sold at this time. Rumor has it that Corning Glass Company is one of the bidders. So it's really untelling what this will go for. Most estimates I have saw are in the $20,000 to $25,000 range. This company also is said to have one of a kind piece of butter print that they will be selling also. So again, the link will be down in the description. If you guys want to click on that and save this seller, it looks like they may have a butter print coming soon. Um, I cannot verify any of the information. This is just something that someone in my Facebook group posted and they seem to know what they're talking about. So I'm gonna take their word for it and share that with you guys. All right, let's move on here and go specifically to Pyrex Lucky in Love. If you type that into the search, you are gonna see that there is also this other glass. I'm guessing this is like a um, reproduction. and these, of course, do not go for as much. So if you see this in the wild, don't be confused. That is more for new resellers, not Pyrex collectors that know what to look for. 
And I also want to mention that not all Pyrex is big money. We are going to talk about that at the end of the video. I kind of got duped in the very beginning of my reselling hard goods uh, career, and I picked up some Pyrex that was a wah wah. And I have a video on that. But let's go into the actual listing here. And I want to talk about a few things. Again, I don't recommend that you use any type of punctuation. I recommend that you do not use it. I don't know if that's why it's glitching, but that's the only thing I can see that pops out. All right. So always take a photo of the bottom. Also, a good thing to do is hold it up to the light. That is going to show if the item has scratches and stuff like that. This one, they did not hold it up to the light. That's just something that I've learned from looking at other Pyrex listings. So what they said in the description is absolutely amazing find. Vintage Pyrex Lucky and Love is one of the most sought after of the Pyrex pieces. This is coming from an active estate sale. The collection, or I'm sorry, the condition is excellent and appears that it has never seen the inside of an oven. There are no marks, scratches, chips, or flea bites anywhere on this gem. It is showing the overlap of the hearts, clovers, and has minor random green paint on one end. See photo. I'll try to answer questions you may have, but the piece speaks for itself. You guys, this is currently sitting at $18,000 and the auction ends on Wednesday at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So there are 6,603 people watching this and they do have free shipping. So that's fantastic. Let's go in and look at the bid history. So if you are new and don't really know how to do this, I just thought I would do a quick little lesson here. This item has 113 bids. 48 unique bidders. Four people bid and retracted their bids. Two days, six hours, 40 minutes left, and it's a seven-day auction. And one thing I like to look at is the bid, uh, the bidder's feedback. And typically, one thing that can scare you a little bit is if they have low feedback. But in a situation like this with such a rare item, there's going to be people that may not be buyers on eBay that have found out about this that are bidding on this item. So this is kind of a different uh, situation here. I did go into see sellers other items, and this is the only item listed and no solds in the last, I think it's 60 or 90 days. Um, I will go in here to their feedback, and you can see um, received as buyer, received as seller. So if I go to received as seller, you can tell that they do have a history of listing some items, but not a whole lot of um, not a whole lot of feedback there. So uh, just something to look at when you're doing your research. All right, let's go into some other big money Pyrex that has sold for a thousand dollars or more. This one is nine hundred ninety nine ninety nine, and we're going to work our way up to the highest selling auction on eBay currently. And this is the vintage hard to find Pyrex orange Amish butterprint Cinderella mixing bowls complete set. Now, what I have heard they do is they put like a cup in between these to get them to stack for the photo. I will tell you that there is no way I would want to ship this item. If anybody sells vintage Pyrex and has any shipping tips, definitely put those in the comments to help people watching this video. And, um, I went into their feedback and you can see right here exactly as this described expert wrapping for sec secure shipping. Great seller. Thank you. So this item was successful. I know a lot of people think that items that sell for big money on eBay can be money laundering. That is not always the case. So the items that I'm going to show you, I am going to prove that they sold and were paid for with positive feedback. How you do that is you go into, um, the seller's feedback. And there's this nice little search bar. You put Pyrex there and it is going to pull up um, the feedback for that item. Now, is this guaranteed to tell you if this item sold and was paid for? No, because a lot of people do not leave feedback. The next item, um, what did I do here? I Here it is. Rare vintage Pyrex turquoise blue compass atomic starburst oblong casserole dish. $1,402.77 this sold for. And as you can see, there was feedback left for this buyer. Now, I do know what I have learned is that certain patterns on certain dish sizes or shapes do make a difference on how rare the item is. So just because this is Atomic Starburst, 
that may not be worth as much in a different style of casserole dish or bowl. I don't know for sure. I have not studied up on Pyrex. I am simply just bringing these big money bolos to your attention and letting you know that you do need to do your research based on size, shape, and pattern, not just one of the things. The next item here is this rare Pyrex Blossom Breeze. It is a promotional baking casserole dish. It sold for $1,452. And this one also right here, feedback was left. So that was a good sale. The next item are these vintage Pyrex JAJ Rare Coral Red Complete Four Piece Gooseberry Cinderella Bowl Set. I'm looking for somebody who actually held them up to the light. And I have not, that one's kind of held up to the light, but you can see it's going to show any scratches. Um, let me see if I can get it to focus in here. See how it shows when you hold it up to the light the, that it has these scratches. That's important for a collector. They're going to want to know that. This one sold for $1,446 plus shipping. This one did not have feedback left for it, but I did go into this seller's store, English Rose AZ, and they have sold a lot of Pyrex for big money. Here's another gooseberry that sold for $860. So a great way to find patterns and different things that are selling well is to look for people who specialize in selling Pyrex and look at their solds. This is um, just some of them. These didn't sell for thousands of dollars, but they sold for hundreds of dollars, which is still fantastic. And some of these patterns may not be super, super hard to find, but they are still sought after by the Pyrex community. The next item here is this vintage Pyrex turkey, turkey, turquoise blue compass atomic starburst. So this is another starburst, $1,478. And you can see here that feedback was also left for this item. This one right here is a vintage Pyrex avocado spring blossom crazy daisy casserole dish. I feel like my grandma had these for some reason. Um, Definitely uh, still a bolo item here at $1,638 plus shipping. And again, this was a good sale. The next item is this vintage Pyrex Starburst Atomic Casserole Dish. I love this pattern. Um, very, very cool piece. And it's got this little, uh, uh, what do you call that? Holder with the candles underneath it. $1,626, and this as well was a good sell. Rare Vintage Pyrex Dish Blossom Breeze Cinderella Starter with Lid Turquoise, $1,735 for this. And right there is the information on the bottom. And a lot of people will take them outside and hold them up in outside light, but I have not seen one of those yet. So this one did have free shipping, and it does say, with lid 043. And again, positive feedback right there. This one sold for $2,325 with a uh, title of Rare Pyrex Turquoise 475. And they've got it up to the light. Um, that's what I mean, just kind of holding it up to the light. Again, I've seen people actually take them outside, but you just want people to really be able to see that there's not scratches and scuffs. And the bottom here, right there. And the buyer paid shipping, but yeah, $2,325. And that was also a clean, good sale with positive feedback. This one right here is the vintage, rare, hard to find Pyrex Amish Aqua Butter Print Turquoise Holy Grail Mug. So this is just a mug. And there they are holding it up to the light. That's what I want you guys to see. This is great. Um, so if you find Pyrex, I highly recommend that you do this because it's going to give, um, the buyer, see how you can see the light shining through where it's kind of scuffed. Great, great tip right there. This sold for $2,421 plus shipping, no feedback on this one, but I did go into their store and it is Pyrex glass one, two, three, four. And if you look Lots and lots of Pyrex sales in this store. And even this one is not your trad traditional Pyrex. And it sold for $275 right here, wood grain. Never seen anything like that. Probably would have looked right past it. So this is a great way to learn. 
And most of their items are Pyrex, but you can see they've got some other big money bolos. This one is uh, Skittles. And if you don't know, expired vintage candy, uh, people buy it for the vintage advertising. You'll want to put it under the category advertising. I have a whole video on vintage candy that sells for big money. Definitely check that out. But this does happen. It is crazy, right? Uh, people probably are not buying it to eat. Extremely rare vintage pink Duchess Pyrex bowl, the holy grail of Pyrex bowls. Sold for $2,800 plus shipping. Check it out. How pretty is that? Uh, $2,800. Unbelievable. Most will never even see one. Excellent condition. And this also was a good sale with positive feedback. And I want to show you that Pyrex is not all going to go for hundreds and thousands of dollars. So do not be fooled like I was. Uh, I went to Pyrex in the title and I put ended recently and I just filtered by auctions. And is auction style always the best for Pyrex? Not necessarily. If you do your research and it's not a super rare item, you might want to use a buy it now. Here are some of the recent sales of Pyrex. Uh, I mean, the four of these for $15.50, they probably would have been better off doing a buy it now with a best offer on this, these items, uh, $24.50. So just be careful because you'll go to estate sales, garage sales, and people will have prices of their Pyrex very, very high. And they may not know what they're talking about, but they also may know what they're talking about. So definitely look them up and again, be very careful by looking up the pattern, the style, and um, the shape. All of those items are important. Uh, I am by no means a Pyrex expert. I actually know next to nothing about Pyrex, but I love learning and I love bringing Bolo items to you guys and helping you guys learn. So this is a category video where I do a deep dive research on a particular category. I have hundreds of these videos on my YouTube channel. I would love for you to subscribe if you are new here. I appreciate you watching this video. I am almost to 20,000 subscribers. So again, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Here are some of my other videos. So I have tons and tons of Bolo content. And that is what my channel is about. Items to be on the lookout for if you are a reseller or um, somebody that's wanting to learn about items you can sell on eBay. Uh, super great way to uh, make some extra money if you're not selling on a platform. Maybe check it out. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay is my main uh, platform. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. And I use List Perfectly for this. There is a link down in the description of the video that you can click on that is will show you how to do that. So if you're a reseller and you're not cross-posting, definitely check that video out. If you decide you like what you see, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that is going to get you 30% off your first month. Another thing I recommend is WorthPoint. I don't recommend a whole lot of things, but I do like to tell you guys about things that I use that make me more successful in my business. WorthPoint, I pay by the year. And there is a link, a referral link down in the description as well. You can click on that and check it out. The different pricings. There's um, some that you can just, it's a price guide. And then there's also one that helps you identify like marks and stuff that are on the bottom of things. I don't have that one. I just have the, where I can search comps. But this has helped me make so much extra money on my items. I just had an item recently and I talk about it in a video coming up that I sold for an extra 50 bucks because of WorthPoint. So that is huge. Um, so check out my videos on WorthPoint. You can just go to my YouTube channel and put WorthPoint into the search bar or Bolo Buddies WorthPoint into the YouTube search bar and it'll pull those up. I highly recommend it. Definitely think it's worth it. I put it off for a long time because it is a little bit pricey, but it has definitely paid off for me. If you guys have any questions about reselling in general, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe in another video. I'd love for you to check out another video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.